So uh, tell us your name. Eric Sanders. And you're an artist here tonight, correct? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, with Fabric Gallery, Chris Davies. And what do they? What kind of art is that? Uh, I do painting, um, but he has. Uh, they have two different booths: a digital uh, uh, NFT booth and a, a regular pa visual arts painting prints booth, and that's the booth that I'm with. And um, is this? How many times have you been to the LA Art Show? This is my third. Sh third year as an exhibitor, but I've been here be probably five, six years altogether. It's just an amazing show, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. It's, it's, an, it's an honor to be part of it. It's pretty cool. And where could people find you on social media or your work? Uh, Eric underscore Sanders underscore art on Instagram. I like that because it's, it's, it tells what you do, but also your name. I love that. Yep, yep. Thank you so much. Have fun. First of all, Scott, I love your outfit. Thank you very much. I'll take all compliments. And um, so you own this show, is that correct? Yes. So I'm the president and CEO of a company called the Palm Beach Show Group, and we are the owner of the LA Art Show. And how long have you been a part of it? Well, we bought it in 2012 from the Fine Art Dealers Association. So it's about 10 years that we, 10, 11 years that we've owned it. That's amazing. And, um, and it's just grown and grown, correct? It has. It, it's quite amazing because we're able to basically produce uh, an iteration of this during coronavirus. So we didn't miss a beat in Los Angeles. And it allowed us to continue to hold the title of the largest art fair in the state of California and, and also the most diverse art fair in the state of California. So if someone's coming down here to, to, to look at it, are there, I mean, everything's amazing, but are there like a few key things they can't miss? Um, well, there are, I think, about 20,000 items on this floor. So it is somewhat hard to pick a favorite out of 20,000 items. I would say I would definitely look at the NFTs that we have on the floor because that's very new and different and maybe more unusual. And until about a couple of years ago, there were no NFTs and now they've um, blossomed as another form of artist creativity uh, that can be purchased. Um, there is a lot of large scale format paintings here. So if you have a very large house, uh, you'll see if you walk the floor, you'll see some really incredible things. Um, and there's everything from Legere's to Picasso's on the floor that you can purchase. So it's everything in modern and contemporary art. I love that. So um, where can people find uh, info about the LA Art Show? Um, we have a website, it's called laartshow.com, so it's about as easy to remember as possible. Um, so if you go to laartshow.com, it will have all of the visiting information. Uh, we open today and we go through Sunday. And is there, are there any other art shows that you'd like to talk about or promote today? Um, anything for the future? Well, one interesting thing is because I have the Palm Beach Show Group, I have art fairs from New York to California. So I'm one of the few companies uh, that go bi-coastal in terms of uh, the art market and modern art. Uh, we just completed an incredible show called Art Palm Beach, um, and I'm so excited about that because uh, now we uh, have bi-coastal. And is there, there any other social media you'd like to promote for people to look at or find for any, anything else? Uh, it's the LA Art Show. I would say LA Art Show, and it's also LA Art Show on Instagram. It's pretty much LA Art Show everywhere. If you Google it, it'll come up, and, and you'll see all the incredible programming we have. Because one of the other interesting things, and, and most people sometimes come to the fair and they miss it, um, is that we have nine museum installations participating at this fair. Um, and, and some are from uh, South America, Central America, throughout the United States. And those are just such incredible experiences. Some of them are completely immersive. Like there's one as you walk in that's completely immersive. Uh, so I would definitely say a visitor when they're coming to LA Art Show should check out the museum exhibitions and the immersive experiences. Yeah, I didn't even know that. That's incredible. Yes. Well, thanks for sharing. Have fun tonight. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. First of all, amazing necklace, Thank you very beautiful much. look. Thank you. Um, so obviously, LA Art Show. How are you feeling today? I am very excited. I am very pleased. There's a great attendance. It's our opening. Um, it's a great opportunity for LA. We've had so many galleries from all over the world, and I managed to bring that diverse and international component. And it's something that is very close to heart. And with a couple of years that were a bit tough with COVID and everything, that took me back a little bit. But um, our show this year 
is incredible. We are completely sold out, uh, 120 galleries from all over the world. So there's something for everybody. So I'm really excited. Yeah, that is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and Scott was saying there's quite some immersive experiences in there and everything. Yes. I mean, just the gamut. There is, um, we have several museums that have come into uh, this year and they're performing and showing immersive experiences uh, like the Italian Institute, uh, the Museum of Latin Art, um, also the Korean and Glendale Museum. Uh, but also we have 14 galleries from Korea. It's the largest Korean galleries that we've had ever. We also have a Japanese pavilion and a European one. So my focus has always been to bring something to the community here that they can't see every day. And a lot of these galleries are actually showing here for the first time. So it's a great experience for them and for the people that are coming to see them. Well, thank you so much. And um, where can people find you on social media? Oh, uh, Cassandra Voyages. I am not very social media savvy, but I'm sure if they look me up, they'll find me. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Hello. How's my hat? Looks good. Someone said I had paint on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell us your name. My name is Robert Vargas. And obviously, love your art. Is this something you put together? Um, you mean as far as this? The outfit. Yeah. <laughs> the outfit. No, this is a, um, a casualty of war. I have to get two of everything because uh, everything gets paint on it. Um, it's just the way I work. Love it. So tell us uh, what kind of art do you do? Um, I am known for a lot of the live work that I do. Um, I'm currently painting the largest mural in the world, which will be a Guinness World Record here in downtown Los Angeles. And tonight I'm painting in uh, support of missing and murdered indigenous women. Um, the 20 foot wide mural that I'm going to paint uh, from be beginning to end tonight is all about bringing awareness to this epidemic. And um, I'm pleased to contribute. I think that's wonderful. And what could people do to help? Um, well, people can continue to spread the word um, and also uh, apply pressure to, uh, to the local uh, government to you know, enact um, policy to, to pursue a, um, you know, a, some sort of finality in, in some of these uh, situations. A lot of people are missing. doesn't mean everybody is, is, uh, you know, is murdered, but it's important that we, um, that we put pressure on them to, to find answers and help uh, prevent uh, what's going on because it, it's overlaps, you know, this cause tonight that I'm painting for also overlaps uh, domestic violence, sexual violence, um, trafficking. So it, uh, it's important that we, um, that we get involved. <clears throat> I think that's great. So um, where can people find you on social media? People can find me online. The Robert Vargas uh, is uh, my handle. And um, just Google Robert Vargas, artist. Have fun tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait to paint. So tell us your name. G. Sandy Trinidad. And um, tell us, um, how are you involved with the LA Art Show today? Well, I came with one of my best friends, Dani Ramirez. And I'm an actress as well. Yeah. And so you're going to be attending tonight? Yes. I will be here enjoying everything. It's a beautiful event, a beautiful outfit. So could you talk about any projects you're working on right now? Or? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I was recently in Babylon. I don't know if you guys know the movie. was like <laughs> It was an amazing movie. Ye yes. So um, my thing was with Brad Pitt. I was playing Carmelita. And also uh, we'd be in season five, episode two for Mayans. And also English teacher. That is coming out in FX. That's great. So yeah. you're busy. That's wonderful. Yes, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, where can people find you on social media? Uh, Gisendi Trinidad Dash Official. Yeah. And um, how is how is it working with Brad Pitt? Oh my God, Brad Pitt is amazing. He's a very genuine, humble. He will make you feel like you are the only girl in the room. We talk a lot. He's amazing. It was a really great experience working with him and Damien Chassel. That's one. Yeah, dream come true. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. So good luck, and I'm sure we're gonna, you're going to be in the Oscars soon, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you.
so tell us what does the LA Art Show mean to you? Oh, first of all, I am an artist. I'm here to support. I'm here, you know, the term starving artist is true as, as anything. And all an artist needs is someone to bring light to their work. Um, and I'm here to lend some of that celebrity power, some of that whatever juice that I have that can bring attention to such a valuable medium. We need this right now. We, it, everything that we are comes from the fine arts. I, I really believe it. And these guys, the vision, their power, the political statements, the wonderful things that they do, it just it moves us all to another level and we need it in our lives. Yeah, we absolutely need it right now for sure. So um, obviously your, the projects you currently have, any other projects you want to talk about right now? I want the finals for AGT uh, All Stars is coming up very soon. So I'm super, super happy about that. Um, and it's just, you know, that's the big one right now. You know what I mean? It's the world's got talent. Uh, it's so amazing to be a part of such a big franchise worldwide. And it's, it's literally the finals are coming up really soon. So stay tuned. Okay, and people can find you obviously on. Oh yeah, at Terry Cruz on Instagram, TikTok, the whole thing. I'm on all of it. Twitter, it's all good. Hi, I'm Lily Brooks O'Brien, right. and I'm your ambassador for St. Jude. Is that correct? I am. Yes, I'm the youth ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And what does that mean? Um, I have been a, an ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital since I was very, very little. I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, which is where St. Jude is based. And I had a few childhood friends who were treated at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And I've just seen all of the incredible things that they do for kids all over the world. And I'm so grateful that I get to share with, um, with people all over the world the amazing things that St. Jude does. And um, tell us about some of your projects. You d recently did a project, correct? Yeah, I did. I played Ella on the new Apple TV Plus show, Life by Ella, where I actually played a cancer patient. So it's been so amazing for me to be able to kind of portray what a lot of these kids go through. And I did a lot of research. I actually cut my hair for the show, and I, w I, had, the, I had the amazing honor of being able to talk to a few of the um, patients who were treated at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and kind of take pieces of their experiences and be able to put them into my character to really accurately represent what these kids go through because it's a story that not a lot of people tell. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. And um, so where can people find information about St. Jude? Yeah, of course. So you can follow me on uh, Instagram at Lily Brooks O'Brien, and I share a lot of information about St. Jude on there. And you, of course, should also go donate at St. Jude's website and go follow them on social media as well. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. fun today. Thank you so much. You too. Good night. So Joey Zhao, you're, yeah. you're, how does it feel to be a VIP here at the LA Art Show? You know, every year from uh, 2018, I was invited to be here at the LA Art Show. LA Art Show, I think almost 29 years. So from in 2018, I was invited, very exciting, you know. I, yes, I am doing media job for 30 years, but I'm very honored and happy to be invited here to the LA Art Show. But everybody knows right now, I'm the founder of the LABA, Los Angeles Beverly Arts, of the International Art Festival. So I interview more than 100 artists, international artists, local, scholar, and the painters. So I really enjoy the time, the moment with the LA Art Show. I hope after pandemic, this LA Art Show, the two 2023 will be much more successful. Yeah, they say they have a, a lot of exhibits. It's going to be amazing. And also, could you tell people if they wanted to get involved with LABA, where they could go to find information about LABA? Oh, the LABA, we just go to easy. Just go to the www.thebeverlyarts.com. You can take a registration there. We have lots of events. We're not big compared with the LAR show, but we do a lot. In the past two years, we have done more than of 50 the events. So thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you.